I'm so excited to be here at Tiny Post. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Yes. This is my favorite event. It's yeah. just it's it's just great community, amazing attendees. And we just met like a minute ago. Not. <laughs> We've traveled together. I think we figured out it was like six shows. I think so. This year, six shows this, this year. This year, Colorado. Yeah. We've we been hung very out. aligned. <laughs> we did inner tubing in Colorado. So fun. <laughs> we hung out in campers, like all tucked together, eating my yeah, vegan RV pie. Yeah, RV parks. Yep. So my favorite thing about the world that I work in is knowing tiny home builders, because for all the people that are out there buying these tiny homes. How do you actually know the builders? You see their website, you might come in and step into their tiny home, like the Wilderize right behind us. But <laughs> how do you know the people behind the build, right? So what I love about Aria is that they've started out this whole experience and journey with a TV screen, like that one. It was all 3D imaging. Yep. And now what we're seeing in real life is the 17 foot tiny home that drops down into 13.6 with 300 square feet. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Did I do it right? Did I do yes, justice? Yeah, okay. yeah, you got it covered. <laughs> but give us a little sketch of like how this came to be. Like why this, why tiny? What do you love about it the most? Yeah, yeah. So I was working a solar sales job back in 2016. I met an aerospace design engineer who had the concept. Uh, we connected on like renewable energy and alternative lifestyles. And I was at a point in my life where I wanted to do something that can make an impact. I was ready to leave my sales job and it came at the right time. And so I took it on. I became like the business creative behind the company, uh, built a team, built our whole supply chain, uh, brought a lot of supporters together, investors. We ran a whole campaign, raised half a million dollars. A lot of people. I'm an investor. Yeah, so Lindsay <laughs> and a director. Also, and a director, yeah, she's very involved. And a customer. <laughs> And so our, our very first event, we showed just renderings. Uh, we had this concept, we're really passionate about it. And then over the course of a couple years, actually built this one. Since then, we've traveled in it um, almost 7,000 miles across eight states, took it out to Colorado, back to California. And uh, I've been just showing it off and promoting its alternative lifestyle and what's possible with innovation. And we've even made like hundreds of design changes in our new builds, which are going out to customers at the end of next month. So we're really excited about that. And that's what we're showing on this screen. They're not yes. animations. They're actually videos of our new build, which is nearly complete and ready to deliver. They look so beautiful. <laughs> people are like, are those animations? No, they're yeah, real. Yeah, I've had a few people ask. I'm like, no, it actually just looks that good. <laughs> <laughs> so what's so great about the Wilderwise is that it, is lightweight. You can tow it with a medium size truck. Yes, they have a three quarter ton truck. Three quarter ton truck, yeah. not a one ton dually. A lot of people get into this like really big truck, dually and all that yeah. because of the weight of the home. Yeah. The other part is on a 21 foot base. Right. But that it goes up 17 feet tall means that you get that full square foot double. Right, yeah, so you have a much smaller footprint, good for small lot sizes, navigating on streets, driveways. We've stayed in such small, compact areas we never would have been able to fit in had it been a larger trailer, but we don't sacrifice the square footage. We have private spaces upstairs, downstairs, dedicated spaces for office, sleeping kitchen, all of it is very um, organized for comfort, especially with living with another person or another couple of people. And what's really cool about our experience is that I got to attend a very cool concert called the string cheese incident <laughs> yes. because we were hanging out with them because when you're in a tiny home and you're in like a community which we were essentially doing mm -hmm. we're going from festival to festival you know tiny home event to tiny home event mm -hmm. and then they invited us to this most amazing show in the middle <laughs> in the of mountains. colorado in yeah. the mountains it was gorgeous <laughs> You know, and those are the kind of things that happen behind the scenes right. with the builders that live their life daily. Yep. But what I love about you guys is that you built a prototype that you then lived it. Yes. Not every builder yes. lives in their tiny home. That makes it very unique. I mean, we are the first users of this product. Like I said, we've towed it all across the country, lived in it full time for three months, really got a feel for tiny living, which is great for being able to pass feedback along to customers and our build team so we can improve the product and also offer insight to people purchasing these. What is it really like? What would we recommend? All of those things. I mean, we got that background experience that makes a huge difference in uh, the product, the experience, the overall lifestyle. Uh, we really are in in the deep of it. Nothing yeah. like living in your tiny home to teach you what works and what doesn't yes. work when you're building a whole new prototype that goes from video screen to com you know computer generation to real life living. Yep. Now one thing that's so cool is they've sold 10 units cash sale mm -hmm. and now they offer financing. Yes, just which this is week super we have our financing program set up. So 
many months in the making and with the help of Lindsay as well, who made it all possible. You know, every yeah. builder that starts <laughs> out doesn't always get to get the kind of financing available because the companies that provide it require like two years of tax information, all other things. And it's not always super easy. You've got a lot on your yeah, plate. Yeah. So now learning a whole nother thing about financing, right, right. what a great way to bring someone else yeah. in that knows how to do it. So for builders out there that are looking to do it, talk to me so I can connect you. Like, because most people, yeah. what I've found is we're looking at like a lot more people are needing financing because of the price. True. Yeah. I mean, yeah. a lot of people move into tiny houses in order to have a lower cost of living. And in that, because of that, I mean, they may not be able to have the finances to make a, a big down payment or to pay in cash. So this is great because you can put down 10, 10 to 20% and then pay it off over 25 years. It makes it so much more doable. First time home buyers, I mean, it makes a huge difference. And what is the price range on this one now for the new? Starting at 85,000, I'm seeing most people around 100K for their total purchase. With all the upgrades and all the things they can yeah, add, yeah, all yeah. the bling. Yeah. yeah. All the lifestyle luxuries. Yeah. Awesome, well you <laughs> heard it from Aria with Wilderwise. Yes. And how can people find you? What's the best way? You can find us online at wilderwise.com. You can see the spelling right here. You can also reach out to me, Aria at wilderwise.com. Our social channels are uh, at Wilderwise Homes on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. That was lucky. <laughs> Wilderwise Homes on all the channels. Yes. There we go. <laughs> at Make it Wilderwise consistent. Homes. So much easier. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much, everyone. Yay. Thank you. <laughs>